Hey guys, welcome to a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. At the beginning of the year, there was a big outcry as Amazon changed how things work with their Kindle books. And they were no longer allowing you to download your books from the Amazon website. Uh, but there is still a way to take your Kindle books off of your Kindle move them from your Kindle and put them on another e-reader like my amazing Kobo that I can't stop singing its praises. And in this video, I want to share how you can do that. I also want to give those who have converted to Kindle and use NetGalley, I wanna let you guys know how to do that. Kobo is working on, well, they do now allow you to download some of their ebooks directly in a file that works for Kobo, but not all publishers are choosing that option. Like they get they get to choose which formats of files they upload. And I think right now it seems like it's just an extra step. And most of them aren't allowing the Kobo option. Out of the like 10 to 15 that I had available, only two allowed a Kobo option. So I was able to get them onto my Kindle and then move them over to my Kobo. So I want to share how to do that. The reasons I want to do that is first of all uh, because the Kobo is just a better reading experience and secondly because I can edit the cover on my Kobo so much easier than on here. I don't know why it is when I download a book from NetGalley and try to edit it Sometimes it will change out my cover and sometimes it won't and sometimes it will and then it like it will load it and then it won't load it. I feel like Kobo is just so much easier to work with. So that's what I want to go over in this video. A major thing to note is you're going to need what is called a data transfer cable for both of these instead of just a regular charging cable. So it's going to, you're gonna to want to be able to hook up to your Kobo and then your computer and your Kindle and your computer and they have to be data charging or else they won't be recognized. That was my problem for a long time with the Kindle. I thought it didn't work, but it turns out I was just using charging only cables, not data transferring cables. So we'll talk a little bit about that. The other thing to note is I have the Kindle, uh, this is a Paperwhite 10th generation. I don't think that the newer versions you can plug into the computer and move things over, which is what we're going to be doing. If you don't have a Kindle or you have a new Kindle and you want to be able to move your Kindle books over, you're going to need a Kindle that it works for. And I can show you how to do it on mine, but if yours is different, um, one thing I would do is I would look for a used Kindle. You can find them pretty cheap. I found this one really cheap. It works great as far as what it is. I mean, it's terribly slow, but that is just what the 10th generation Kindle Paperwhite is. But it works to move my books over, and overall, it was a good purchase. So, like my video where I was showing how to download your Kindle ebooks onto your computer and then also transfer them over your to your uh, Kobo, there are a few things that you'll need to download. One, you will need the Caliber software. I have been using this since the beginning of the year for the last six months. It's been working great. Uh, I highly recommend it. There are a few plugins you will have to add in. So once you have Caliber installed, you will need to add in some plugins, which you will do by going up to preferences, adding plugins and searching for certain words. I'm going to have these plugins in the description, all written out in the description, so you can copy and paste them over to Caliber and that way you guys won't. You'll know exactly which ones you need and I'll have the specific instructions there. Because I've already done it on my computer, I'm not going to show you how to do that part, but it is pretty straightforward and I think my details are that I have written down, my instructions are pretty informative. I think you can I think you can handle that. So let's 
plug in the Kindle and start moving some of these files over to the computer. And then we're gonna move them from the computer over to my Kobo. Two key things before we get started is before you move your Kindle book over, you have to make sure that it's actually downloaded onto your Kindle. So I, I always forget how to find the menu on here. I'm constantly doing the Kobo thing. Uh, I just bought a book that I need to read for a homeschool mom's book club. Let's see, is it on here? It doesn't show that it's on here. I'm going to sync so that it shows up. There we go. It's currently saying it's 32% ready to open. I'm going to tap it to make sure that it's fully downloaded. It needs to show like the 1% symbol. Oh, it's so slow. I'm not used to this. I don't think one realizes until you have a Kobo how responsive it is and how slow this is. Okay, well, I'll give it another minute, but you know how generally the books will say the percentage that you are into them. Once it says at least 1%, then you know that it's fully downloaded onto here and it's ready to move over. I don't know why it's kind of frozen. I'll give it a minute. The other thing is the reason that I thought that this didn't work for the longest time is you need to make sure that you have a cable that works to move data over. So some cables are just merely charging cables. And apparently out of the like 10 of this kind of cable that we had, only one of them is actually a, a data transferring cable. Um, okay, my book is finally at 1%, and that's not an internet issue here. That is a that is a Kindle issue. Um, so I, sometimes you just, you gotta plug them in with Caliber open until it shows that the device is connected or it'll pop up on here too, I believe. Um, you can buy them, and I think it should say data transferring cable. Uh, don't just get a charging cable. So if you're having issues with it not showing up on Caliber, that might be your problem. So I'm gonna go plug this in. I'm going to be moving a book over onto my Kobo and a book that I have already in Caliber that I've purchased onto here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip flop some books. Okay, um, it says it's ready to read. I'm gonna open up Caliber and we'll go from there. I've got it connected, I'm on my library. If you click over to device, you can see what's already on the device and in your Caliber library. Oddly enough, this does not transfer over the covers. So I always go in and I update that because I want that on my Kobo. It's very strange because the cover is actually on the Kindle, but here you are going to, let's see, is my mouse connected? Yes. You can right click on it and you can do add books to library and it will move it over into your library. And then it's got a black and white cover. I'm not sure why it does that. I definitely like to change the cover. I like to go to edit metadata, metadata, data, whatever. And I'm gonna find this cover and put it in color. I generally try to look for one that's like decently large pixels. Oh, this one's 667 by 1000. I look over at different ones and see what I can find. Uh, I will save that and then I will pull it up. I'll hit browse here in the metadata, add that in, and now it's in color. And then I'll also pull out the information about the book because I remember what it's about right now, but will I remember in the future? I pull it in and paste it in there. And now I have that. Now currently it is in the KFX format, which means it's just from Kindle. If you've done the pre-steps that I explained earlier and have your um, Kindle serial number in, then what you can do is you can convert books. And then I like the KEPUB format because that gives me the stats that are so great with uh, the Kobo. And it just takes a second or two. And now that's a EPUB, a Kindle EPUB format. So I can move that over to my Kindle. While I have this device connected, I purchased a book recently, Simulated by Nova McBee. No, it wasn't simulated. I actually, I have calculated that I wanted to, my daughter to read, and I thought I would just borrow her my Kindle, and so then I can move 
this over just by dragging it into the device section. Actually, I'll put simulated in there too, in case she wants to continue with the series. Calculated, I was gifted by the author. Simulated, I purchased. And the thing with purchases, actually I purchased it on my husband's account, his Amazon account, because we, I had a gift card that was on his account and he has Prime with his account, so it just made sense. I used it there. But in Canada, we don't have a family library which is very annoying. So I got it from his Kindle, put it on here, and then moved it over to my Kobo. So now I'm going to eject this device. I don't think that there's anything else I wanna move over right now. Let me just check. Well, whatever, I can always do this any other time. I will eject the device. There we go. And you can see, first of all, calculated and simulated are on there. They're not they're not showing as they're part of a series, but they're both there and I can even open it. Oh, well, I was gonna say, but I don't know how long it'll take, but it didn't have to download, so. Okay, so that is all on there. And then the cover should pop up. This is so slow. I'm not used to this. There we go, calculated in non-color. Um, so that's on there. Now I need to pull out my cable for the Kobo because this is USB-C. Once again, you need to make sure this is a data transferring cable, which the one that comes with, a, with the Kobo is, but not all of them are. Some of them are just charging only. And then also I have this handy dandy little USB to USB-C so I can hook it up to my Mac and find my Kobo, which currently has simulated on here plug that one in. Unlike the Kindle, the Kobo actually you have to hit connect on here and then it takes a minute to pop up. There we go, it's connected and I'm just gonna pull in Vital Harmony over to my device and there we go, it is there although the picture looks teeny tiny. I think it'll be fine. So I will eject my device and I give it a minute. It does say it's all moved over but then it shows up on here right away that it's importing and the one time I disconnected it too early it oh no, that's really quick um, it didn't actually import the stuff properly so I like to make sure it's all the way moved over and then if I go to my books in vital harmony is right there so that's how I move my kindle books over and my books kind of both ways. There you have it. That is how I move books over from my Kindle to my Kobo, as well as my NetGalley books onto my Kobo that aren't currently Kobo compatible according to the website. I hope this helps you guys. If you really enjoy the Kobo, I do have a couple videos where I talk about my love for it. I did kind of an initial review after I got it and shared some of my favorite features and things about it. And then I used it for six months and learned more things about it that I loved. Did another update video there. I have an e-reader comparison video where I talk about four different ways that you can read ebooks and which ones are my favorite. Uh, there, there's definitely a clear winner. Yeah, hopefully this video was helpful, informative. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I will try to do a little FAQ. I'm not the most technical person, but I figured out if I, I, if I can figure this out, you guys probably can too. Um, but I will have an FAQ in the description if there's a couple questions that are coming up frequently. And so you can check that out as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for another video.